alaikum dear students uh, welcome to nuclear physics uh, lecture uh, i'm dr parvez ahmed and today's lecture uh, we will talk about uh, fission chain reactions so just like you can see it here in the figure and as we have discussed in the previous uh, lecture uh, that uh, fissions normally occur uh, when uranium 235 uh, nucleus has been fire are hit by a uh, neutrons from an outside source just like you can see it here in this particular figure uh, that is we have a neutron so when this neutron had the uranium 235 so it's been split into direct nuclei that is barium and krypton along with that uh, we have uh, three neutrons so from these three neutrons a chain reactions occur so what is a chain reaction uh, a chain reaction is one in which the product of an initial uh, setup undergo further reaction just like you can see it here uh, in this initial setup uh, we have uh, three neutrons now these two uh, three neutrons uh, are being accelerated toward further uranium nucleus and they again strike uh, I mean they again uh, uh, process for further fissions and uranium 235 atom just like you can see it here uh, I mean first we initiate the fission with a single neutron so as a result of that single neutron uh, uh, we have three neutrons from the fission from the first fissions these three neutrons they are being accelerated toward uh, further uranium 235 nucleus and they again and these fissions so the process continues i mean so uh, uh, at first uh, we have three neutrons uh, i mean after first fission we have three neutrons these three uh, three neutrons are being accelerated towards a uh, three more uranium 235 nucleus so they again uh, induce fissions uh, and those th three uh, uranium 235 nucleus so as a result of the, these uh, fissions uh, they produce nine more neutrons so those nine more neutrons they are being accelerated toward nine more uh, uranium-235 nucleus uh, to induce further fission so the, uh, this process uh, continues uh, until unless uh, uh, the uranium-235 nucleus uh, they are not being fission so this is the sort of the reactions uh, which we call uh, efficient uh, chain uh, reactions so in order for the fission reaction to occur, we need a particular amount uh, of the fissile material, a particular uh, uh, amount of the nuclear, uh, uh, nuclear material, that is uh, a particular amount of uranium-235 material. So when the amount of the fissile material is small, I mean, uh, when this amount, uh, when we don't, uh, don't have that particular amount, which is necessary for uh, efficient, uh, efficient chain reaction. So what actually happened? Uh, many of the neutrons don't strike uh, other nuclei. Uh, so as a result of that, uh, chain reaction stop. So what actually we need for sustaining uh, a, a nuclear chain reaction? So for that we need uh, a particular mass of the fissile materials that we call a critical mass. So what is the critical mass? The critical mass is the amount of the fissile materials necessary for uh, chain reactions to become self-sustaining. I mean, if we are interested uh, to sustain uh, a self-sustaining uh, fission chain reaction, so for that we need a sufficient amount of the fissile materials. Uh, I mean, uh, which can sustain. Uh, a nuclear chain reactions so that amounts uh, we call a uh, critical mass so um, uh, nuclear chain reactions uh, th there are two types of the nuclear chain reactions the first time uh, uh, the first type is called an uncontrolled uh, chain reactions uh, I mean that kind of uh, uh, nuclear reaction is basically uh, performed in a nuclear weapon just like an atomic bomb and the second type uh, we call an uncontrol. The second type we call a control chain reactions, uh, which can be, uh, I mean, can be performed in a nuclear reactor uh, for uh, power 
uh, generations. Uh, so there are, there are two main types of the uh, nuclear chain reactions, uncontrolled and controlled. So uncontrolled, as I mentioned, uncontrolled uh, nuclear chain reactions is basically net three for a uh, nuclear weapon. And that is, uh, I mean, this kind of uh, nuclear reaction is, is a, a great importance in designing the nuclear weapon, particularly the, the fission bomb. And uh, a control chain reactions is normally performed in a uh, in nuclear reactors uh, where we uh, want to generate uh, power. So here are uh, the examples. The example of those uh, those two ch chain reactions that is uncontrolled chain reactions. Uh, I mean, which normally be utilized for uh, uh, producing bombs that that we call atomic bombs or fission bombs. Uh, and the control chain reactions has been formed in nuclear reactors for producing energy or uh, for productions of power uh, for electricity. So that's all we have for uh, nuclear chain reactions. See you in the next lecture. Till then, bye bye.